Jan Christoph, congratulations. You are the man to beat Magnus's 125 unbeaten streak. How do you feel tonight? Well, I'm very happy, obviously. Well, I mean, I didn't expect, I mean, to win this game at all. Like, <laughs> and uh, even though I was wide, of course, and I was, you know, uh, not playing for a draw anymore, uh, like against Levon. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, at some point, the game was totally random. Like, I thought I was, I mean, okay, I was surprised by this opening and uh, it was very uncomfortable because I didn't seriously bother to analyze it, like, you know, and yeah. And then at some point he even had the idea of rook takes e3, f takes e3, knight d5, you know, playing for positional compensation. And it was very uncomfortable because, you know, black has easy play on my king and I'm like, you know, okay, I have to defend very precisely, I think. But then when I played knight g3, knight d4, I was kind, kind of, you know, happy that I'm at least managed, you know, <laughs> To, I mean, not to have knight on into, yeah, which is very poor. And <laughs> and after that, I mean, okay, after rook takes a4, b takes a4, I wasn't sure, but I kind of liked my position. But the problem is black always has some positional compensation, you know, even with slow moves and making his airy. And yeah, and then, okay, I mean, okay, I, we, I, play, I started to play like randomly, kind of randomly, because, okay, I had to make it, I was low on time. And... Yeah, I allowed myself to have, for example, weak pawn on h3, which probably wasn't a very good idea, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was kind of random. And then in some moment, I played queen e4. I mean, uh, after queen e4, queen g2, I wanted to take on the 4 That was my idea, but obviously, I blundered rook b1 check. So, yeah, I mean, I blundered check many, <laughs> check many, almost blundered check many one move, yeah. It was, it was lucky enough that after that I had this rook hg1, and after that, I mean, it's, I don't know what it is, but I'm not losing by force, I think. Or this is very complicated, I mean, for black. Yeah, and, and, and he obviously blundered, I mean, this trick, uh, queen a2, queen c2, that cannot... Okay, actually, he took on c4, but like, rook a8, rook h8, h8 check, yeah, I mean, which was... Okay, I thought that actually he spotted it, uh, like, earlier, but decided to gamble anyway, because <laughs> his position was uh, kind of bad. I mean, I'm obviously very happy with this win. Like, I also couldn't <laughs> could, could, couldn't win in the end. Like, uh, you should have won, you know, like <laughs> 20 moves earlier. Yeah, but was at many moments I thought I was, you know, we like winning by force. But obviously, I, I wasn't at any moment. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a long time. I mean, so, but I thought I, you know, played like okay, everything was defending itself. So, yeah, I mean. I guess what matters is you got there in the end. As you said, it was a completely crazy game. How did you manage to stay calm, especially when it's Magnus sitting opposite you? Yeah, okay, I was, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm not very happy. I mean, I, I wasn't very happy with, you know, with my uh, play. So, like, I thought, okay, losing to Magnus is, you know, nothing, nothing terrible at all. And that was kind of, you know, relaxing me. Like, <laughs> okay, it's not a big deal. Uh, you know, I mean, considering the games I played earlier in this tournament, so yeah, I mean, no, in the opening it was like the worst. I mean, because I was. Did you think it was his preparation, or do you, did you think there might be an element of bluff? No, I, th I think he prepared this, but uh, I guess he like forgot something, like uh, I don't know, his preparation or something. I mean, his body language um, told so. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, yeah, but. <laughs> But yeah, I, I mean, it was completely total bullshit. I mean, to allow this, like, <laughs> what for? Yeah. You also said that uh, you took a different opening approach yourself compared to the game against Aronia, and I guess that was a conscious decision. Okay, against Levon, I wanted to play Armageddon badly, but I couldn't have foreseen, you know, that I wouldn't be able to, you know, <laughs> to, to draw this position I mean, this end game. So okay, after that, I. I thought, I mean, it's total, I mean, it's nonsense, I mean, to play for a draw with white, so I I won't play anymore, I mean, at least in this tournament, yeah. No, I wanted to play Armageddon badly, but, you know, I, I didn't manage to do so. so. <laughs> well, today it went even better than that. Uh, you had a tough start to the tournament, but did the rest day help you to sort of reset? What did you get up to yesterday, apart from cake decorating? Yeah, actually, only cake. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, yeah, but it was very good actually that the, there was a free day. I mean, be, before the game, uh, before two games against Magnus. So yeah, I'm very happy with it. Yeah, but tomorrow will be worse. I mean, <laughs> with black, it's not so not so pleasant. But uh, I guess at least uh, in your mind, psychologically, you're in a much better place uh, tonight. Yeah, definitely. Looking forward to playing Magnus again tomorrow. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations and best of luck tomorrow. Thanks.